Redditors who had a porn addiction, how did you quit it? Limit where you have access to porn and force yourself to control that. Delete old saved nudes porn vids if you have any. Uninstall apps that might trigger you into instantly looking at porn such as TikTok, Reddit, Twitter, Instagram, etc. My personal biggest thing were minimizing the triggers and being very conscious of when I was gravitating towards porn when I was only viewing it out of boredom or to boost my mood. Every single time I was horny, I FaceTimed my grandma. I found someone who I fell in love with. We weren't even together yet when I stopped, but I was so sure something would start with us. I didn't want to carry that into our relationship. With her now and am as happy as can be, I watched it all. There is simply no more left. Set up a whiteboard on my wall to count up the days. Kept me accountable. I wouldn't say I was addicted but I got a little too comfortable using porn to bust nuts and not pursue women in the real world. So I'm off porn completely and am limiting masturbation to once or twice a week. It's much easier to build sexual tension with a girl when you're bricked up than when you just watched a dime do exactly what you like. I'm not a dictator, I can quiet any tomb. Sorry, fair typos only have one hand free. I got married. Wife wants sex all the time. I don't have any cum left for porn. Got addicted to drugs instead. I just beat it like any addiction. Except you will probably fail a few times and don't beat yourself up about it. I quit smoking by weaning off, not porn though, it's harder to quit immo. You gotta go cold turkey. Like the South Park with no internet where Randy can't jack off without porn if you have become dependent on it, and let's face it, most guys are, you're gonna struggle to get off without it. And that's gonna be frustrating. Horniness makes people do weird things and it's gonna make you relapse. So, quit cold turkey. Then the next three months are gonna be weird. At first you will be sexually frustrated because the status K has changed. Jerking off might not have the climax you are used to. You are gonna have to learn to do it without external stimulus, learn to use your imagination and feel your body. If you are fully dependent it's gonna take weeks to get off all on your own while fully hard. Your brain is learning to rewire dopamine pathways, it takes time. There is a reward at the end though, let me tell ya. My requiems are way better, my orgasms are wild, I produce way more cum, my libido has skyrocketed, and I just feel better about myself. I was porn free for a few years and wondered, what would happen if I went back? Within one week I was depressed, my libido was fucked, the orgasm sucked, and I said fuck this I'm never watching porn again. At most I'll sometimes look at still photos to get me going but quickly swap back to fantasy land where I can imagine anything I want. Still in the trenches, this is going to sound crazy but every time I felt like watching, I'd say aloud to myself, that's weird, I thought you said you didn't watch porn? And then I'd reply to myself, oh yeah that's right, I don't. I said that easily 30 times until I stopped wanting to watch. I realized that I was addicted ever since I was shown it when I was about 7 to 8 years old and that the woman I want wouldn't want a man addicted to porn. Got to improve yourself since we are all her for self mastery. Became addicted to chess instead. I completed Pornhub. I noticed porn was a huge limiter on my libido, funnily enough. I had just broken up with my ex and even when I was in a relationship I didn't really initiate a lot of times due to watching porn. After we broke up, not sex related, I kinda went ham. I eventually decided that artificially pleasing rewarding myself was actually doing more harm than good, numbed my feelings toward the other gender and tried to reduce my consumption. I switched from porn to things like music videos, which feels a bit weird to admit, but I initially needed the visual stimuli. Eventually, I could mostly do it by fantasizing and it's amazing what it does to you. I've always had problems flirting, but not having porn be a thing every single day means you can let your nature guide you a bit and it worked out.
There's a lot more opportunity for a spark to occur when you have in fact everything out in this experience has been more valuable than porn could ever be. I used shrooms and LSD and it actually helped, but I was severely depressed all my life. Honestly, this may sound pretentious, but I got a girlfriend and I realized I wasn't going to be affecting just myself with the addiction anymore. Firstly, try to break the consistency. Then, Gradually increase the distance between your thing periods. For example, start with three days and then try to extend the gap. Next, make it harder to access browser, app sub, avoid being alone, keep yourself busy with other things. And consider using an app locker with a random password for your accessible apps. After that, go offline for a while. If that's not possible, Limit your phone usage to only what is necessary. Avoid all social applications and refrain from using the internet entirely, if possible, for at least one week. Ideally, continue this practice for a minimum of 25 to 30 days. Then ask your friend to keep an eye on you with Google Parents Control. Or something like these for a 1Y. It took me 1Y 6 months to fully quit. Good luck to you. It's hard but it will be way easier and won't take that much time if you really want to quit. I got a girlfriend. I got too depressed lol. Don't know how that works. But it did. Don't watch porn in fact to your imagination instead. After some time you realize you we rent addicted to sex masturbation, but porn and then you can stop quite easily. One. Told my therapist. He said it's okay. Two didn't accept what he had said. 3. Started talking to people about it. 4. Social interaction made me internally realize I'm not alone and that's a common thing, even though I didn't think it's okay. 5. Kept talking about it with different people on differing addiction subjects. 6. One day it just became unnecessary for me. Throw away for obvious reasons. I did for some time. It stemmed from depression, needing that dopamine hit, but also a very toxic relationship. Porn was an outlet where, for me, I felt good but also would have noon demeaning me gaslighting me or trying to make me do things I didn't want to. If was something purely for me. This spiraled to masturbating several times a day, if I had a day off I could masturbate up to 10 times easily. It was a gradual decline, it also started making me develop some terrible thoughts towards women, nothing physically harmful, but where porn had pushed the idea of women being dominated or used it had created that idea, this lead to me finding one night stands who were into being dominated so I could justify being rough with them. To be clear, I had no desire to harm any women, consent was very clear and I knew that it was not an okay thought process or attitude and even at the time I felt shame about having those ideas. I realized it was a major issue when I started a healthy relationship. I had no libido cause I'd been gratifying for so long I didn't feel the urge, it was just part of the daily routine. I also started to struggle to finish with my partner as I had spent so much time consuming nearly all types of pornography I was desensitized to what was actually erotic. I went to therapy, worked on myself, went to meetings. The biggest trigger for me was actually Reddit. Websites like The Hub etc. were still a go-to but they didn't fill that gap. I think the only way to explain it is, imagine you go to McDonald's and you buy fries. They're good. But if you're sat at home and someone brought you fries they're better? The Hub etc. felt dirty whereas Reddit I could go from social media to porn and back again in seconds. It was convenient, accessible and an absolute abundance of every category you could want. The best way to overcome it was to completely cut out Reddit, which I did for about 6 months until I came back with all the NSFW restrictions in place. My advice is to get a good web filter and apply all restrictions. Don't be afraid of therapy, if you're lucky enough to have the money to do so, or going to meetings. Like any addiction, it takes willpower. Be strong and know your weaknesses. 
try to set a target like I won't watch any porn for 24 hours, then 48 hours etc. I started thinking about the people in it. I realized I have no idea how many, if any of the ones I saw, were doing it out of desperation or some kind of coercion. And it broke my heart. I was watching porn every day at some point in my life. Then I had university and depression which made me so busy and tired it completely killed my libido. Now unless I'm really in the mood porn just makes me more depressed. Realized boredom causes you browse porn. Every time I felt horny, I tried eating a chocolate bar instead. It didn't help. Now I'm just fat and horny. I took acid and deleted everything. Used the trip to think of everything I was risking and the hurt my partner would feel if she found everything. I learned how problematic the industry is. I stopped watching things that went against my personal ethics. I go with healthier amateur porn that is freely broadcasted by exhibitionists. I'm not porn free, but I'm less porn involved. Missed opportunity to write Redditors who had porn addiction. How did you beat it? Just stop watching cold turkey. I found other things to do instead of watching porn and jacking off. It takes willpower and determination, but you won't miss porn. Got a girlfriend. Still struggling with it, but I'll be fine. It's helping to have a GF a lot. I started sex therapy because sex wasn't really doing anything for me. Game changer. Didn't only get over porn but also gave me such a more positive outlook on sex. Fully recommend. Sex is so much better now. My friend died of porn addiction. He got stuck in an area with no Wi-Fi. Withdrawals hit and he couldn't handle it. R.I.P. Doug. You went before you came. Started counting the times I saw during the week, then began reducing the numbers, and did the same for months. My girlfriend found out. I love my girlfriend more than porn, so I chose to better myself. I just stopped cold turkey. I put my computer in the closet. Cold turkey died and go to those sites any longer and have the main ones I know blocked on my router and phone. Not an addiction, but I watched porn. I asked my girlfriend what her biggest fantasy was. She said it was for her partner to only fantasize about her, that their loads only went into her. I thought it kind of sad at first, but figured since no one else had done it, I'd give it a try. Wasn't really difficult. No joke. I took mushrooms one time and when I got home after they wore off, I was alone and had access to my computer, where I knew exactly where I could go to get a fix. Instead of just going with the urges, the psilocybin afterglow had me in a really pensive and reflective state and for a moment I was resensitized to what I had been doing, how much time I'd waste on it every week and how many issues I would have the disposition and availability to fix if I wasn't numbing myself. I recall the lyrics, I am the one thing in life I can control, from the Hamilton song, Wait For It, and the context around such a phrase being spoken by a character who's the opposite of a man of action, and decided that if I'm the one thing in life I can control, then I might as well be good at it. One way to start was by making a commitment to myself and keeping it as a matter of responsibility and respect to my own words. The first week was tough, the second less so, but when I reached the third, I felt confident not only in my ability to stay away from porn, but also in my capacity to accomplish things. It had been so long since I had felt so asterisk cable asterisk, given I'd previously been very depressed, burned out and operating on autopilot, so I tried to take another step and gradually fixed my sleep schedule. Once I could do that reliably, I chose to then limit my weed consumption to Fridays, Saturdays and special occasions so I'd be sharper when I needed to be, and when I managed to do that for two weeks, I started working on my diet and exercise routine and the results on my physique and well-being were explosive. I was on pace to turn my life around, and it had all started because I wanted to prove to myself that I could live without jacking off to porn. And then I had a period of intense stress followed by a host of external issues and relapsed plus binned up, lol. I didn't have a support structure in place and I had to learn the hard way that I needed one. 
took me a bit to get back on track, but what motivated me was knowing I had done it before and how good it felt to be free, confident and able. A few specifics. I quit both PMO and regular masturbation cold turkey at first. After I hit the 30-day mark, I didn't really feel much inclination to do either, and started my dead dick phase, which felt really weird to go through. After a while, I had been feeling good enough to confidently flirt with a female friend I had a crush on for a while and found myself getting naturally aroused by her, but most importantly, by something other than porn triggers, and let me tell ya, it felt great. Had one of my first 100% guilt-free shower wanks in years, which reminded me that there is a healthy way to masturbate and enjoy yourself, by yourself, without drowning in visual audio stimuli. You may by all means view my specific case as proof that it is possible and worth it, but keep in mind that your experiences may vary heavily from mine, which means it could be easier, harder or just plain different. Don't let yourself be discouraged if you don't get results in my pace or if you don't get the same results, understand the nuances of your problem and learn how to navigate it. Therapy can help with that plus the safety net to keep you from derailing and crashing a lot. My wife sat me down and told me how unethical porn consumption is for everyone involved. The performers, the person watching porn, and those you are close to, especially my wife. Then she showed me a lot of studies. HTTPS colon slash slash fight the new drug dot org slash how dash porn dash can dash negatively dash impact dash love dash and dash intimacy slash that show the consumption of porn affects how you view the world as well as your own mental health. After that, it was easy. I quit cold turkey and haven't looked back. I grew up on porn, as in my parents just didn't care. I had high speed internet, a completely unprotected computer and lots and lots of full time. So that's what I thought it was like. You know, the impossible standards, like getting a plumber out in 30 minutes. When I met my first boyfriend, he wiped my education clean and redid everything from the start. I picked someone a bit older, with more experience, so he knew what he was doing, no stumbling in the dark looking for things. It was exhilarating. But from the perspective of someone who spent years looking at porn, there was a huge difference in expectations. What I saw was better, I thought, but what I got was off the charts. Now that all of that is over, well, let's just say that I don't want friends putting in the letter P into my browser. It keeps me company now that I'm single again, and it helps, um alleviate stress. But I always remember now what it wants to be seen as, and what it really is. So I changed, and now I write erotica, a spiritual awakening. It was literal hell for seven years. I thought it would never end. It took letting go of everything I thought I knew about myself. I found God. Not in like a religious sense, but spiritual for sure. In a nutshell, you need to stop feeling guilty all the time. That makes you perceive guilt in others as well. Start to perceive love by completely letting go, disregarding and forgetting anything fearful. And trust in God. This trust is really all you need. Shit happens though and you begin to distrust. It's scary to completely let go and be vulnerable, but that is the answer. When you give in to fear, you give in to a false idol. Focus on truth. Focus on perceiving love in everything and forgiving everyone. Stop thinking bad about anyone. Stop thinking bad about yourself. Being in the present at all times is the only answer. Choosing to be present and choosing to only perceive what is real. Fucking a whole lot more. Went to sleep and tried again tomorrow. One day at a time. Are you saying that it's possible to quit? You gotta remove it all. And I mean all. Reddit saved posts? Bye bye. That tab you had open since 2018? Adios. The cute chick that once sent you a pic? Not on my watch. If you have the urge, try to do something else instead. Socializing worked best for me but I read working out is great way too. And if it's too strong, 
I always tend to think about the clarity that comes after. Is it worth it? And I know you kept that one photo since you are not talking to her anymore and once you delete it, it's gone. And that's good. Delete it after the third time my dick wouldn't get hard with a real woman. I was so humiliated and depressed like how is that even possible three times in a row with different women. I figured out it was the porn and loss of sensitivity and got really angry at porn and masturbating in general and quit them for good still on that road and had no problem getting it hard with a woman not too long ago. Self-discipline. You just gotta tell yourself no. I just watched so much if it that I got bored and stopped. It wasn't on purpose. I saw something disturbing in real life in 2021 and now whenever I think of sex or genitalia, that image will pop into my head and be an instant boner kill. Literally haven't jerked off one since then and don't think I ever could. I try to keep eyes only on my wife. Focusing on my love for her sets my priorities right. Talked to an actual professional and found out I didn't have a porn addiction, just a healthy sex drive. Porn addiction can be a real thing, but extremely few people who are told they have it actually do. Porn really messes with your brain and your real sex life thus, your romantic relationship. If you are saying now, joke, s on you I don't have a real relationship, your sex life, let me play the Uno reverse card and tell you that it is very unrealistic to think you can quit an addiction like this once you've got that sex ear. It takes longer. What brings me to my second point, which is, are you really sure that having a porn addiction isn't the real reason for you not having a relationship?